What's up guys, Black Wolves here and welcome back to another video and today we're back on Pro Cycling Manager for the fourth stage of the 2019 UAE Tour between Dubai International Marine Club and Hatterdam. Um, a very flat stage until the last 40 kilometers um, with an incredibly uphill finish with uh, the Hatterdam in sight. Um, I think it was a stage last year already in the Abu Dhabi Tour. I can't remember who won it, but it was a tough finish. Uh, hence why Valverde is the favorite to, uh, for today's stage alongside Roman Kroeziger and Dan Martin. Uh, but we'll see how that goes on the stage. If you haven't watched the previous stages, please go ahead um, to make sure you understand what's going on for the GC, which I'm going to show right now, at least the top three, uh, with Primoz Roglic leading from Tom Dumoulin, Vincenzo Nibali. Um, I think fourth place is, is Valverde, fifth place is Richie Port, and in sixth position is ourselves with Dan Martin. Um, but without further ado, let's just jump in the stage and uh, see if we can get some time on, uh, on Primo Roglic at the end. We're on the starting line for the uh, fourth stage of the UAE Tour, and uh, we've only got Dan Martin on plus two, which is good. And I've just seen that. Um, but as I said in the intro, Quite a flat stage uh, until you reach the uh, latest sta the the latest part of the um, of the stage. Um, we've got um, Ulissi on a minus two. So that's not good. Ricos on a plus one. So I'm going to count on him uh, because otherwise it's going to be very tough for Dan Martin to do this on his own. Um, Dan, who's now on a 82 mountain, 83 hills. Um, so I mean, I could do something. Uh, if it's the same finish as last year, I think I can. I think I can do something. I'm hoping for at least. Uh, we've got Christoph who's going to stop pacing. Uh, we've got our first breakaway. Adam Hansen, the uh, Iron Man. If uh, like you know what's that about. We've got Lukas Ozien for CCC. Uh, Serge Powell's for CCC. And uh, Igor Arslanov back in the breakaway like yesterday. Now uh, we're going to stop pacing because there's literally no point. Um, Alex Dose trying to reach the breakaway alongside Dimitri Gruzdev, uh, Sean Bennett, Bruno Armirai, but no, they're going to get caught by the peloton led by Novo Nordisk, which is not something I expected to see, but why not? Um, and then, yeah, for now, I think we're, so we're, we're sorted, we've got a breakaway, don't know if it's going to take much lead, uh, much of a lead, sorry, but, I mean, it's at least, it's something. So, if anything happens, we'll see, uh, but at least I'll see you um, probably before the first climb. Alright, we've got another breakaway, um, well, uh, another group. Um, the uh, Novo Nordisk team had been pacing since the beginning, and they finally got someone in the break uh, in the name of Peter Kustor, the Hungarian leader. Uh, Mikael Delage was also... Oh no, sorry. Mikel Delage has also uh, joined the breakaway alongside uh, Mark Lirizza. I think uh, one of the veterans of this tour, if I'm correct. How old is he? Is he not like 39? Wait. Um, he's. which. he is. I can't see his position. Uh, Mark Lirizza, he's 80th. 80th. Ah, oh, you can't see the stats anymore. Okay, my bad. I thought you could, like, see the. Uh, like like this but for everyone in the in the peloton looks like uh, you can't so that's a shame uh, but anyway yeah we've got breakaway 334 is their lead over the peloton led by um, the sprinters with Marcel Kittel, uh, Daniel Maclay, Eric Bashka, Max Valscheid, Phil Barros and Mark Cavendish who's been more active at the front of the peloton than in the sprints not ideal when you're a sprinter but I digress uh, so yeah let's uh, continue the the fast forwarding, if that's even a word, and uh, I'll see if anything happens. Alright, 46 kilometers to go, the peloton has really, really upped their, their rhythm as we uh, we move towards the first uh, the first slopes of, uh, of the stage. So, for now, it's quite good. Um, the thing, breakaway gain co-op means either there's going to be new attacks in the peloton, or the peloton is going to slow down. Or they're just going to be absolutely mad and pace until the finish, which is the option I would like to avoid. So we'll see what the AI does. 
Um, but for now, Dan is solidly uh, in the top 10 of, uh, of the peloton. We've got Recorsa just here. However, some uh, first guys are going to get dropped soon. Uh, Olivier Rotroya now. Fernando Gaviria not in the best position. Um, actually, I would have liked to maybe have Gaviria or Christophe for the finish. They would have been a like maybe they could have been able to do something. Uh, so we're going to try and pace them uh, and get, like put them until the finish. I don't know if they'll be able to be there, but uh, at least it's worth a try. All right, we're in the second uh, hill of the stage, and um, we're going to try and get our guys to pace. Vigarstek Langen was meant to give bottles to everyone. He's struggling, he's struggling, but he's giving his all. Um, look how massive he is compared to like Ricosta. I've never like seen the difference, that's a bit mad. Uh, but yeah, we're just pacing with Re, uh, trying to uh, keep the rhythm, which is uh, for now um, put by uh, the Dimension Data team. Kristoff is still here, solid. Um, we're gonna approach like the, the bit of a. Uh, of the clan that looks like a wall, um, so we're gonna just make sure to get it with Dan Martin in the main group. Why is Quentin Jorigui attacking for with Benoit Cosnefroy? Wait for your leaders. All right, Gaviria is in a bad position. I don't know if he'll be able to make it. However, I'm pretty sure Alexander Christoph will. So that's the good point. Um, Rui Costa has done a stellar job keeping Dan Martin. Uh, uh, up the peloton, so that's good. Diego Lisi is there. Uh, he's gonna help Kristov. You know what? Yeah, that's what we're gonna do now. Um, actually, Lisi could play his card. Lisi could really play his card today. Oh, that's a tough shout. That's a tough shout. I don't know what to do. And Gaviria is still there. Uh, although I'm pretty sure Gaviria is dead. Well, I mean. Not dead, but useless for the uh, for the finish. We're starting to be on some very narrow roads, uh, and I don't like that. Who's last? Olivier Rotroya is last. Hey, you're gonna pace. Uh, we're not going. You're not being last to Declan Irvine. That's not happening. All right, 2.8 kilometers to go. I completely forgot about that. Uh, so we're gonna pace. Trying to put our leaders up uh, the front of the road. Where's Rui Costa? He's gonna get blocked. That's not good. Please find a gap, find a gap, find a gap. Uh, that's not ideal, is it? It's not ideal at all. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to find a gap. We're just going to pose it for a sec. Launching the sprint of all the other guys. Um, nope, not Dan Martin. 700 meters to go. Come on, Dan Martin. He found a gap on the left hand side of the road. And Dan Martin is sprinting towards victory. Our second win on the tour. Tony Galopin is going to take third. Mihal Kutkowski will be second. Um, I didn't bother sprinting with uh, with Kristoff. Probably could have. Probably should have. Uh, Valverde finishing in a disappointing 19th place. Wow. Okay. Okay, I didn't expect that. Uh, so Dan Martin, Kutkowski, Galopin, Kreuziger, Van Galeren, Costa, Zakharin, Paul Dumont, Dennis. See you on the podiums. Wait, no. No, 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 no. No. Before, we need to watch the uh, finish of Troya, who's going to beat Declan Irvine. Get in. Well done, Chief. That's what I'm talking about. Wait. Oh, he's, overtook, he's overtaken another guy. He's overtaken Peter Kushtor. Well done, Olivier. Alright, see you on the podiums. Dan Martin, winner at the Hatadam. Uh, it was a stage made for him. Remind me, uh, like, quite similar to uh, an Arden classic. And he takes the W, fully deserved, great work by the team, especially Rui, who finishes in, in a solid 6th position. Uh, and with that, it puts us in 6th position of the GC, we've gained 20 seconds of uh, bo uh, bonus time, which puts us only 16 seconds now behind Primo Joaglic, uh, and only 3 seconds away from 3rd place, Vincenzo Nibali. So if we get a podium, and the like, guys ahead don't, we might get the jersey. Dan Martin is now in green, um, Gaviria, yeah, couldn't be here, uh, so that's a shame for the uh, Colombian rider, but at least the jersey stays in the team. I don't think there's a mountain jersey, uh, could be wrong, but
but we're gonna see that um, does not. And uh, Yanni Moscon stays in white uh, with Maximilian Schachmann making a push towards second position of the um, the young jersey uh, classification, young rider classification. And we're the best team, UAE. Come on, the boys uh, making moves with Dan and uh, Ricosta. And Jolie really finishing in the same time. Alright, everyone finished in the same time. Okay, there was a 51 second gap, uh, but I think no one important for the GC. And uh, to be honest, I couldn't care less. Alright, so that's it for the full stage. If you enjoyed it, please uh, make sure to leave a like down below. That would really help me out. Uh, also, if you haven't done so, make sure to, to subscribe to the channel uh, so that you won't miss, uh, you won't miss, sorry, this fifth stage between Charger and Core Packen, um, a sprint stage. So obviously, probably going to be favorite with Gaviria. We are. Uh, will we win? That's another story, and only, well, you'll only be able to see it uh, if you're subscribed. So yeah, as I said, make sure to subscribe. Uh, and yeah, my uh, social medias are in the description down below. Uh, go ahead and um, follow me on my social, on my Twitter and my Instagram, if you feel like so. I've been Blackwall. It's been an absolute pleasure talking to you today, guys. And goodbye. <laughs>